first. Their phones have been known to burst into flames that neck the, ac the actions now being taken by the feds against Samsung. Well, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 users say bye bye to your phone. Federal regulators are now issuing an official recall of one million phones because the batteries have the potential to explode. The recall comes after dozens of reports of the phone overheating and in some instances exploding batteries causing damage. Joining us tonight is tech expert Ryan Eldridge, co-founder of Nerds on Call. Ryan, thanks for being with us. How serious is this? A million phones being recalled. That's a lot. Yeah, you know, it's it's actually pretty serious. There's been 92 reported incidents of, of batteries overheating. There's been uh, 26 reports of burns. Uh, there's been 55 reports of property damage. There was that South Florida last week uh, where the guy's truck, like, caught fire. Um, and I was on a United flight earlier this week, and uh, on the United flight, they were saying not only to make sure that you were uh, uh, turning off your phone, but also to make sure that you uh, secured the power switch so it didn't accidentally turn on while in flight. Um, and the FAA hasn't, unfortunately, had a lot of uh, teeth to be able to enforce the no, uh, f no Note Sevens on their flights. But now, with uh, with uh, this this federal recall. They're going to be able to enforce that now unilaterally. Unilaterally. Yeah, Ryan. I, I too was on a flight. I was on a Virgin flight, and before boarding, they reminded everyone do not have that phone on. And then once we got on the plane, said to not only not have it in airplane mode, to, but to have it completely shut off. And I have to say, I, I was a little bit nervous. I thought, okay, I hope that those Samsung Galaxy Note 7 owners are are listening. Um, yes. Uh, what, so, what type of impact, though, does this have on Samsung? Oh, this is going to be huge for Samsung. So when the notes, when this first started coming out, there was a gadget conference in Germany when this first started coming out, and they were expecting that to be a really big launch for them. But now it's really damaging their reputation. They spend billions of dollars to beef up their image here in um, in the states, and in South Korea, the funny they have a funny way of fixing it in South Korea. They've actually uh, issued a software patch where the phone can only be charged up to sixty percent in order mm. to stop the phones from exploding. Mm. Um, but according to uh, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission for this recall, all you need to do is either contact Samsung.com, go to your wireless carrier or the retail outlet where you purchased it, and they will give you a replacement phone, either another uh, Galaxy Note 7, or they'll give you uh, uh, something of equal value if you wanted to get something else, like maybe the iPhone that's coming out on <laughs> Friday. Um, but one thing to note is this is only affecting uh, phones that were purchased after September 15th. I'm, I'm sorry, prior to September 15th. The uh, Samsung quickly jumped in and started uh, going to their other vendor for their batteries. And so anything that's come into the pipeline since then has already been fixed. Um, but if you've got something that you've had prior to that, you want to make sure, go see your carrier, contact Samsung or, or the retail outlet and get this thing taken care of. All right, Ryan Eldridge, uh, thanks for joining us and setting us straight on what's going on with those phones. Yep. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome.